Hey friends, it's Red Carpet Roxy, and today I'm at the Creative Coalition's Humanitarian Awards. What was your reaction when you found out you were winning this award? I have no words. Wow. I have no words. I tell every child I have ever met, whether they want to hear it or not, how you learn has nothing to do with how brilliant you are. Why should people get more involved in this organization? Well, to me, the arts are just, you, you can't underestimate how important it is. I mean, it goes into everything. Design goes into everything. It's very important for me to shed a light on the whole, the, the need, the right to bear arts. You know, because it is, a, it should be a right for all Americans and all people in the world to have an arts education and to be told that to be creative and artistic is a good thing. Mm -hmm. When you found out your sister was being honored today, what was your reaction? Oh, I, I, I wasn't surprised. She <laughs> deserves, the, you know, all the accolades she could get. Congratulations on your award today. What was your reaction when you found out you were going to get this award? Well, I was like, no, they shouldn't be giving me an award. I should be giving them an award. Why are they giving me an award? Because they do such an ama amazing work, you know, advocating for arts funding and making sure that the arts aren't cut out of every budget. They go to D.C. all the time and lobby and meet with Congress people to explain why the arts make sense, not just as part of the fabric of our culture and and something that we have so should have so much pride as Americans in, but also the economics of the arts and how much taxes come in from the arts and how many jobs the arts supports. I feel really good. I'm really I'm actually literally and figuratively honored. It's an amazing group of people. Um, it's amazing to be on television and be able to influence people to give back and to help and to be able to help help other people in their time of need and to be uh, recognized for it is really, really, really sweet and loving. What are some of the projects that you have kind of coming down? Um, we have several shows that we are producing. One is one I'm not in and it's very comedic. Um, okay. And it's, but it's very female centric. And then one, I'm sort of the center of the universe, and you'll get that part of Bethany that you're missing from me leaving uh, Housewives. But you'll get the business part of me that Housewives is missing. You know, I just came from New York Fashion Week, where I spoke to your sweet daughter Delilah Bell and your wife Lisa Brenna, superstars of the runway. Now, are we ever going to see you on the run? Well, maybe if I'm flying a plane, <laughs> I might, you might see him on, on that runway. But you have a very big fan, and that is Kim Kardashian, who loves your books, who Kim. you've known since you, she was a kid. I've known her since she was in high school. Right. She was in my backyard with her sister, Courtney, and my daughter, Zoe. And as lovely as they were then, they are now. Oh, that's wonderful. And that is true. They're that lovely. They're that lovely. So what did it mean to when she kind of gave you that vote of, you know, confidence and she just said, you know, this is a great series. And she has two billion followers. I thought, oh my God, thank you, Kim. Oh my God. Thank you, universe. 